unbeaten in six games, I think, now. What do you make of it? It sounds quite good, doesn't it? Unbeaten in six games is something that sounds really good on paper, but unfortunately they're all draws. Um, it's frustrating. It is frustrating because I've said it many a, in many an interview, we're not a million miles away, but we just can't get that first elusive win, which I think will lead to others. But look, you take it, we've not, we've not lost again, but unfortunately the draws, sometimes it's better off losing one and winning one. So, um, we're, look, we're going to keep working hard. We're getting closer. Um, we're training Monday, Thursday, and come next week, the way it hits you, hopefully it will be the first elusive win. And after, well, he did hit the net, but it was offside last week. Jake got a crucial goal to propel us back in momentum. Yeah, it was massive for us because, obviously, I think we've performed reasonably well today. I think you've got to give the opposition a little bit of credit as well. I thought their front three, especially, and especially the number nine and the 11, were good players. They're good players, and um, obviously, we're missing Kieran, um, which is a big blow. But I thought Hugh Cullum, young lad in the academy, has come on, or come in, sorry, and, and made his, his full debut, league debut and done ever so well. Um, to go a goal down, not to stuffing out of us a little bit. Silly free kick to give away. Didn't follow him. Marco's made a number of good saves today at vital times, which shows how important he is to us. Um, <coughs> saved the free kick, and obviously they followed up, and we didn't, which was was a big blow. It was a big blow, and when you look at it, teams that haven't won would normally fold. But I know what I've got in this group. I've said it so many times that they're hard working, they're honest lads, and um, they kept plugging away. And, and Jake popped up with with another goal. He's I, I don't think he scored too many. Over, over his career but he's, that's his fourth he's, yeah he's, he's had a couple since I've been manager he works ever so hard he's bulked up he looks strong and he's got energy to get on the back stick which was was probably a, a, a pretty simple finish but he had to get there so fair play to him and it gave us the momentum to try and push on and get the winner but it just wasn't to be and new recruit in, in for his debut today Manny yeah Manny Manny's Joining us, he, he's obviously been at a number of clubs locally. Um, one thing that obviously attracted me to him was he's not he's not had lot, lots of games and opportunities of late, but when he does, he, he scores goals. And I thought he was a threat today. He's not played for a number of weeks, but he looked lively. His movement's good. Um, and on another day, he, he may have got on the score sheet. So it's still early days for him, and he's, he seems a really good lad. Um, so he's going to be good for the group. He's got that work ethic. Um, and wants to kick on and improve, so he sort of ticks all them boxes for Needham Market. And another, I know Manny isn't a youth, one of our academy players, but Hugh, full league debut for him today, and Sean. Yeah, look, we've got real good players here, and it's difficult because the situation we find ourselves where on a, in another season of the six games that we've drawn, we, well, we should have won all of them. I know that sounds bizarre, but we should have, and we'd have been in a healthier position to to let the youngsters dip their toe in um, it's quite difficult going into a team that isn't winning but I thought Hugh was excellent uh, Tuesday night a number of them Charlie Warren was on the bench didn't get on today and he can consider himself really unfortunate because he was brilliant um, Taylor Clark's another one 16 years old so so we've got a lot of good lads and they'll be training with us they, they train with us and they're not far away and the lads need to realise um, I will be brave enough to put them in when the, when the time's right for them um, Hugh's time was today and it was a, a tough situation for him really obviously Kieran is a, is a big figure in our football club he's um, captain he's been here a long time he's an excellent player so to fill his boots is always going to be a big ask of any player but a, a young kid in Hugh I thought he did it excellently he, he, he's a really good player and one for the future not not only at, at this level uh, and for Needham he, he's got potential to kick right on and and with his attitude and, and ability, he's got a real good combination of, of getting really high up the pyramid. And next Saturday, back on the road to Hitchin. Yeah, and, and I said to the lads in there, maybe it's a, it's a good game for us. Obviously, we put ourselves under pressure anyway, but you can sense it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's difficult. It's difficult to ignore the fact that we've not, not got our first league win. Um, there's a bit of a monkey on our back. Um, and that brings a little bit of edginess at times. So maybe going on the road to Hitchin, who, who haven't had a, a great start themselves, maybe alleviates that a little bit. And like I said to the lads, if we if we keep working hard, keep keep believing, um, which I'm sure they will, something's got to change eventually. 
the late goals we've conceded, the chances we've missed late on in games. And I felt it today. I felt that today was going to be that day where where it was going to level itself up a little bit and we would get a late winner. Um, yes. But it wasn't a be so. Yeah, all, all concentration now on hitting. We'll work hard Monday, Thursday. We'll be prepared. We'll know what they're about. We'll know what we're about. And it's up to me to pick a team that goes and wins the game because that's what we'll be looking to do. Cheers, Kev.